Hey y'all, welcome to another video on Reconal.com. So today's video is in response to a recent post we did on the blog where we showed how to tie your own aider for your climbing sticks. And the confusion was on how to tie the water knot in a loop. I think the confusion comes from the tutorial that I linked to showing you how to tie two links of tubular webbing together with a water knot. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to tie one in a loop. First, I'll give you the context of just tying two links together um, and then I'll show you how it's slightly different to tie it in a loop. So all you need to do is make an overhand knot and just keep it kind of loose. With this tubular webbing you want to keep it flat. You don't want to twist in it. So we're going to just try a loose knot because we're going to thread back through it. So now we have our loose knot and what I want to do is get another link of tubular webbing. So I have some more over here. And you can actually do this on either side, but let's pretend like this length is, is quite a long length. You would go to the tag end and flip it over to where you see it crosses. And just start threading up and following your, your same knot around. So you got to get a little extra length here. So see how I'm just laying the tubular webbing on top of the other knot. So I'm going to bring it around and just lay it there. And then once you hit, you know, the start where you have two pieces, you just thread under and pull. And so now we would have two pieces tied together. But for the aider, you actually want two loops. So what I'm going to do is show you how I would tie that. So let me get rid of the shorter length. And for the purposes of this, I'm actually going to um, tie that. In, I'm going to make just one real long tag in because that's what you're going to do when you make that aider. So here's the tag, but tie your overhand knot kind of in the middle of the tubular webbing. So that gives you that flat, you know, overhand knot, and you got quite a bit of um, webbing out here. And then you have the tag in over here. And so what we want is a loop, because that loop is what's going to fit around the top of your climbing stick. So take this tag in and flip it over. Keeping it flat, use the tag in to follow that around. So if you look, I'm just laying it down on the old knot, or on the, the I guess, the first knot. And then when you pull it tight, so you have that water knot, but you also have a fixed loop. So when you do this for your aider, you're going to want a bigger loop. You're also going to want a bigger tag in, so one, you can adjust it, but you want the tag to be long enough too, so as this, you know, cinches down, it doesn't tight, it doesn't pull the tag out, and then the knot comes undone, which would be a bad thing if this was an aider. But that's how you tie a, a loop with a water knot. I hope that helps clear up the confusion, and um, we'll, we'll soon have that video out of, of the aider and all the, the details and how we use it in the field, but for the time being, I think this and the blog post will get you unstuck. Thanks.